Hello, I'm Marek Reichman, Aston Martin's Chief Creative Officer. And in front of me, I have Aston Martin's Valkyrie Spider. I'm here at Gaiden in the secret workshop where we've been building the car just before it ships out to the US. As you're aware, we're building 150 Valkyrie Coupes, and we're now building 85 Valkyrie Spiders, an incredibly special car in very, very limited numbers. Sitting midships, just as in the coupe, is that naturally aspirated V12 engine. So the sound in this car is going to be absolutely incredible. A car inspired by Formula One, inspired by the aerodynamics needed to create such downforce. The power to weight is unbelievable. The weight ratio versus power ratio is something you're going to directly feel in this car as well. And it's a very, very special car in terms of its makeup and layout. Everything on both the Valkyrie Coupe and the Valkyrie Spider has been designed and developed with precision engineering to create an incredibly lightweight structure using unbelievable lightweight materials. Carbon fiber, titaniums, everything that you see on the Valkyrie is all about reducing that weight so you get the maximum from the power output of the engine. The aerodynamics at the front of the car, you can really see from this huge wing, this is really about generating downforce at the front of the car. Then as we come round to the front corner, you'll see how the, the planes work to divide the air, to get the air to come through past the wheel at the side. And a really special feature, if you look closely into the headlamp, you'll see 3D printed parts and a different carbon fiber weave that make it one of the lightest headlamps on the market. As you've heard me speak before, Valkyrie is as much about the negative space i.e. how air exits through the bodywork to generate downforce and remove the high pressure air that, that stops lifts and generates that downforce. So you can see the air coming in through the front and this large aperture here just exits that air as quickly as possible, taking the high pressure air away. And obviously as we look into the cabin, you can experience that full-on F1 driving feel because you have an exposed cabin, all the air rushing through the car, over the car, and you exposed to the elements. And that really is a reminder of how this car is being developed around the basis of a Formula One car. Mid-engine layout, everything is carbon fiber. The butterfly roof system is, is the lightest we could possibly make it and deploys and reattaches incredibly smoothly. And one of the great things about Valkyrie Spider is obviously when the roof system is taken out, you can start to see the materials in the cabin, the carbon fibers, the different weaves, the tone, the satins, the gloss areas, the trimming on the seat. So you can really go to town and specking your Valkyrie Spider with a different set of materials on the seat to the coupe. So as you look down the side of Valkyrie Spider, you'll notice that the window line is, is again kept in line with the attachment of the engine cover but of course because it's a spider and on the coupe the hinges are on the roof section we have a different hinge which flips the door up in this rather dramatic style so the hinge is now based in the tub towards the front offset to the right of this side and obviously the left of the other side and of course, as you crouch down at the back of Valkyrie Spider, you see the intricacy of the aerodynamics at the back of the car as it exits all the air. These, these beautiful Venturis, the diffused air at the back of the car, really dominating the visual language. And you start to see how the airflow runs through, the exhaust system sitting higher, the active wing, very, very delicate active wing that creates all of that downforce at the back of the car. And then this, one of my favorite views, looking at the snorkel area on the upper of Valkyrie Spider, where you see the air deployed either side and obviously that central box, which is taking the air in to breathe the engine that sits below that cover. Aston Martin's Valkyrie Spider will be the last swan song of a naturally aspirated V12.